Well, guys, I am stuck in the temple once again. And you might be asking, what temple am I at this time? Well, I don't know. Because this temple literally does not have a name. So, if I want to escape the temple, I have to solve puzzles. So, will I be able to escape the temple? Let's find out. So, before I start this video, hit that like button. And also, the number you see on your screen is the percentage of you guys who have not subscribed to my channel. So, hit that subscribe button and set notifications to all. It is easy and it's free. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Okay, here we go. So... Click here to begin. Okay. This map has built in Chinese and English. You can change the language settings to change the in-game text language. Okay. This map is a puzzle map based on the core features of Minecraft Vanilla. This map is a single player map and needs to be played in version 1.19.3. Okay. Here we go. Enter the temple and here we go. Okay. So to explore further, go up a level. Okay. So where am I? Okay. Okay, here we go. Nameless Temple. Offer. I don't know how to pronounce the offer's name, but okay. So, hmm, which one should I pick? This one, this one, this one, this one, or this one? You know what? I think I'm going to start with this one first. Okay, so here we go. Salt Alchemist. Okay, so we have base salt here. And okay, so we got a pickaxe, soul sand, soul soil, packed ice, blue ice, and lava. Okay, so what do I do with those? Hmm, that's the real question. Okay, so there's a missing basalt here. So we need to get the third basalt, I believe. i definitely not sure. Okay, so hit one. There are three groups on the wall and two of them have basalt in them. Perhaps you need a third piece of basalt. Okay, so I need to get this piece. But how? Okay, so let me look at the second hint. Blue ice, soul soil, and lava can generate a basalt in some way. Okay, so I can only use blue ice, lava, and soul soil, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So, what's the third hint? If there is soul soil underneath the lava and blue ice on its side, it will turn into basalt. Okay, so if there's soul soil underneath, so I have to place soul soil here, and I think I'm gonna place soul sand here. Then I'm going to place soul soil, and I'm gonna place blue ice. And okay, so I'm gonna place soul soil again, then I'm gonna place blue ice, and soul sand, and blue ice. Okay, so I've got enough, but do I have to. Okay, so let me place packed ice here. Let me try to place a lava bucket. And it worked! Okay, so I got my basalt. Okay, so which means... Let me place it here and boom! Let's go! First one done. Okay, so which one should I do next? Either this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. Hmm, I believe I'm gonna do this one right here. Okay, family portraits. Difficulty hard. Okay, so what we need is we need to have granite, diorite, and andesite. Okay, so what do I do here? So I got white dye, gray dye, and red dye. Okay, and an iron pickaxe. Okay, so I think I'm going to get a hint first. Okay, so the first hint. Recording to the hints on the wall. It may be necessary to obtain granite, diorite, and andesite to pass the level. Okay, I already saw that. Second one. In fact, you only need to use cobblestone and quartz. Okay, so I think I'm going to get stone. Okay, so I'm going to get all the stone and all the quartz. All right, got all the stone. Now I have to get to the quartz. Okay, so let me get all the quartz. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And okay, two more and boom. Okay, I got enough. All right, so I got cobblestone and never quartz. What's next? Okay, so the third hint. Put two cobblestones and two quartz in the cross pattern to craft diorite. One diorite and one quartz can craft granite. And one cobblestone and one diorite can craft andesite. Okay. So I think I have to craft myself diorite. Okay. So right here. Okay. Boom. Now, what did I mention again about granite and andesite? Okay. So one diorite and one quartz can craft granite. Okay, so which means I have to craft diorite again. Okay, so I'm going to craft another diorite and boom. Okay, so now I have to place diorite and quartz to make granite. 
Okay, I do. And cobblestone to make andesite. Yep, boom. Okay. So now I can place andesite here. Okay, and I'm going to place diorite here. And I'm going to place granite here. And boom, let's go. Second one completed. Okay. Okay, so which one should I do next? Hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to do this one right here. I don't know what this is. Inspire your potential. Okay. Oh, what is this? So we have mushrooms and other flowers and another mushroom here. Okay, so I have diamond boots and a golden apple and a spruce log. Okay, so it has to do with these three items, I believe. Okay, what's the first hint? The pressure plate is on the other side. Is there any way to jump higher? Oh, okay. So I think that I have to craft spruce planks. Okay, what do I do here? Um, I've got spruce planks and a golden apple. Um, what am I supposed to do? Hint 2. Jumping at the moment of being damaged can make you jump higher. Such as when under the effect of poison. Okay. And what's next? You can use a bowl, red mushroom, brown mushroom, and lily of the valley to craft suspicious stew. Which gives you this poison effect when consumed. Okay, so a bowl, red mushroom, brown mushroom, and lily. Okay, so I have to get the mushrooms. Okay, so I got the brown mushrooms and I'm going to get the red mushrooms. Um, this is... Okay, there you go. Okay, so I have to make myself a bowl. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a bowl. Then I'm going to make myself a suspicious stew. Okay, just like this and boom. Okay, so now what do I do? Okay, so I have to get to the pressure plate. Okay, so I have to eat the suspicious stew. And okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I did it, I did it. And boom, let's go! Third one completed. Okay, so I'm going to do this one right here. Unfamiliar material. Oh, difficulty is easy. Okay, so I think I'm going to shoot the boat. Wait, is there a crafting table? Yep, there is a crafting table. Okay, so I have to shoot the target. That's what I'm assuming, right? But how? Okay, so let me read the hint. There is a target on the wall. Maybe activating it will allow you to pass the level. Okay. Second, you have a bow. Maybe you can make an arrow. Third hint, you can collect bamboo with the axe. Two pieces of bamboo can be crafted into a stick. And flint, stick, and feather can be crafted into an arrow. I know, I know this. Okay, so I have to get bamboo. Is this it? Okay, I think this is it. Okay, so I have to craft myself sticks. Okay, I got myself one stick and I'm going to make myself an arrow. Okay, so just like this and boom, I got myself arrows. Okay, so now I have to shoot and boom, let's go. Okay, next one. Okay, so this one's next. Okay, renewable resources. That's interesting. Okay, so the thing we need now is rose bushes. Am I right? Rose bush. Okay, so I got one. I need three. That's the main thing. Okay, so I'm going to place one of the rose bushes here. And now I have to make two. So how can I do that? That's the real question. Okay, so let me see the first hint. Maybe you can pass this level by planting rose bushes in all the empty spots on the grass. So how can I get another rose bush? Okay, hint two. Bone meal is beneficial for the growth of plants. Okay, so I'm gonna spawn a skeleton. Um, what's the skeleton? Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. Let me kill the skeleton and okay. Gotcha. Okay. Didn't drop a bone. Okay, so I think I'm gonna spawn more skeletons. Okay. Oh my goodness, one of them has armor. Okay. Let me kill all the skeletons. Let me get all the skellies. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Kill. Okay, got one. And another one. And oh my goodness. Okay. Gotcha! Okay, I got nine bones. Okay, so I'm going to craft myself a bone meal, just like that. And now I have to... Okay, that's not the one I wanted. No! Okay, third one. Will kill skeletons. I know! Right-click rose bushes. Okay. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, there you go, there you go. Okay, rose bush and boom! Okay, now the next one, which is... Okay, can I climb it? Okay, there you go. Feather falling. Difficulty, normal. Okay, so what do I do here? So I got snowball, glow lichen, block of raw iron, oak planks, and stone bricks. Okay, so I'm assuming that you had to touch this golden pressure plate here. But how? This is the real question. How can I touch this golden pressure plate? Um, I'm definitely not sure. Okay, so first hint. There is a pressure plate on the other side. Maybe something is needed to activate it. 
Okay. Number two. You can craft a wooden shovel to dig the coarse dirt below the anvil so it drops. But is there a way to make it drop as an item? Oh, okay. So I think I have to make myself sticks just like that. And I have to make myself a shovel. And just like that, I got myself a wooden shovel. Okay. So how do I make this anvil drop as an item? Third hint, you can use snowballs to craft snow blocks. Then use snow blocks to craft snow. If you stack more than one layer of snow underneath an anvil and make it fall, will drop as an item. Okay, so I think I have to make myself snow blocks, isn't it? Yep, I got myself snow blocks and I had to make myself snow just like that and boom, I made myself snow. So now I have to place snow right here. I'm gonna place snow like this just in case. So now I have to dig out this anvil and boom! Okay, I got myself an anvil. Okay, so I got myself an anvil. So what do I do now? That's the real question. Wait, 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 wait. Let me try to think of something. So let me try to... Wait, I got an idea. Okay, so let me try to throw an anvil here. Oh my goodness, it didn't work. Wait, what happens if I place... Oh my goodness! Okay, I did it. Let's go. All right. Wait, what's happening? Um... Uh... Um, what's happening? Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, is there something going to happen? Wait, what's that? What was that? Floor one. Room of the items. Completed. Okay, so we're in floor two. Second floor. Okay, so which one should I do? Hmm, I think I'm gonna do this. Renaissance. Okay, so sacrifice yourself. Get a new lease of life. So I got cobblestone, acacia log, chainmail chestplate, blaze rod, potion of poison, mole spawn egg, and wooden sword. Okay, so there's a crafting table here, and there's a furnace here. Okay, so what's the first hint? Try killing yourself in game to pass the level. Okay, so I'm gonna drink the potion of poison. Okay, all right, so I'm trying to get myself poison now. Okay, so now what do I do? Moles, okay, so... What do I do now? Spawn a mole? Okay, so what happens if I place it here? Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, so I got, I drank a potion of poison. Okay, what do I do now? The armor with thorns is the key to pass the level. Is there any entity that can wear it? Um, uh, accidentally start over again. Okay, so, okay. Use the blaze rod to burn cobblestone into stone. Then burn the stone into smooth stone and craft it into smooth stone slabs. One smooth stone slab and six sticks can be used to craft an armor stand. Okay, so I think I know what to do now. So I have to make myself into sticks. So I'm going to make myself planks. Then I'm going to make myself into sticks. And now I have to smelt cobblestone and turn them into stone. Then I have to smelt it once again to make smooth stone. Okay, so I think I get it now. Okay, all my stone is ready. So now I have to smelt it once again to make them into smooth stones. Okay, so I got all the smooth stones. Now what I have to do is I have to make them into stone slabs, right? Yep, I do. So now I have to make them into armor sand. So I'm going to place smooth stone right here. And I'm going to place sticks right here. And boom, I got myself an armor stand. Okay, so now what do I do? Okay, so let me place an armor stand here. And I'm going to place a chain of chest by here. And... Okay, what happens if I try- Okay, I did it! Okay, so now I have to- Boom, let's go! Okay, next one. Okay, so let me go in right here. Unreachable. Okay, so we have a pig. I got lava bucket, wet sponge, iron ingot, stick, string, flint, feather, and goat horn. Okay, so let me have a look around. Okay, so we have a furnace here. And okay, so we have a flint and iron ingot. So I am definitely not sure what to do here. Okay, so let me have a look at the hint. So the first hint is the pig walks so slowly it seems difficult for it to walk onto pressure plates spontaneously. Let me think about this. Okay, so the pig walks so slow that it can't walk into pressure plates. I don't get it at all. I need another hint. Second hint, burning a wet sponge with a lava bucket can get you a water bucket. Be careful not to take out the bucket while burning. Okay, so let me see what I can do here. Okay, so I got wet sponge 
And I have to craft a flint and steel. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself flint and steel. And boom. Flint and steel can be placed on crimson nylon. Okay, so let me have a look. Do I have to craft anything else as well? Hmm. I'm not sure. Let me look at the third hit. Make a flint and steel with iron ingot and flint. Ignite at the pig's spawning point and pour water outside the wall. The ignited pig will spontaneously look for a water source. Okay, so let me have a look. Alright, so let me try to place wet sponge. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm trying to think of this. So let me have a look at this again. Make a flint and steel. I made a flint and steel. And what do I do? Ignite at the pig's spawning point and pour water outside the wall. The ignited pig will spontaneously look for a water source. Um, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, so let me try to do something. Okay, so let me reset this again. And let me get all the three hints. Okay, so now I know what to do. Okay, so I think I have to place a lava bucket in here. And then place a wet sponge. Isn't it? Oh, no. Okay, so let me see. Okay, I think I got it. And I got myself a water bucket. Okay. So now where do I place the water bucket? Is there anything? Can be placed on packed ice. Okay, so I think I have to place it right here, right? Okay, but now the issue... Okay, I think I have to place it here. Then I have to make myself flint and steel. Okay, so I need to make myself flint and steel just like that. And boom, okay. So now I have to place flint and steel here. And I have to... Okay. Oh my goodness, it worked. It worked. Let's go. I did it. Okay, so which one should I do next? Okay, I think I'm going to do this one next. Creeper Tomb. Okay, so what do I do here? We have anvils right here. I got a damaged golden sword, splash potion of healing, spy glasses, husk, spawn egg, vindicator, spider, and two enchanted books and 16 bottle of enchanting. Okay, so what do I do here? Um, I don't get it. Let me read the first hint. It looks like you need to kill two creepers to pass this level. Okay, but I have this golden sword. Okay, so... Oh, and if I throw this... Wait, it didn't work. What? Um, I don't get it. Let me read the second hint. The durability of the sword cannot be increased, but is there any creature that can help you kill creepers? Oh, okay. Um, Vindicator? Um, do Vindicators kill? I'm not sure. If you name a Vindicator spawn egg Johnny, it will spontaneously attack other creatures. Did I receive a name to... Oh, okay, okay. I figure out what's going on. I figure out what's going on. Okay, so... Okay, so let me throw some experience points. Okay... I got all the experience points. So now I have to press the Vindicator spawn egg. And now I have to rename it to Johnny. Okay, I did it. And I got Johnny. Okay. So now let me place the Vindicator here. Okay. And oh my goodness. Okay, okay. And I did it. Let's go. Third one completed. Okay. So next one. Okay, so what is this? Accumulation. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so I got block of iron, hopper, chest, furnace, TNT, dispenser, charcoal, and lead. Is there a way that you can craft yourself a minecart? Okay, so I think I'm gonna get iron ingots and let me make myself a minecart. Okay, so I got multiple minecarts. So what do I do here? This is the real question. Okay, so I got all of this. So what do I do? So hit one. Try killing a wither skeleton to pass this level. Okay. So now, okay, I think I know what to do. Okay, so I think I had to craft a minecart. Broken minecart, unrideable. Okay, so I think I had to place a hopper. Is that it? Okay, another minecart and TNT. Okay, and this dispenser. Okay, let me try that. Does it work? Hello? Uh, that doesn't work. Okay, let me try with chest. Okay, the chest does work. Okay, so I got my card with hopper, my card with TNT, and my card with chest. I'm gonna say the TNT because how do I get it? Okay, there you go. Okay, so let me press the button here. Okay. Wait, it didn't work. What? What's the second hint? TNT my card may be necessary, but it seems impossible to use only one card. Okay. This is interesting. Um... I don't know. Let me read the third hint. First, place the TNT minecart on the power rail. Then place two regular minecarts in the same position so that three minecarts stack in one block. Press the button and they will continue to move forward indefinitely until they encounter an entity or wall. 
Okay, so let me restart this again. Okay, so I have to make myself a minecart. Okay, so I have to make myself three minecarts. And what do I do now? Okay, so I think... Um, so chest... Wait, let me have a look. Oh, unrideable. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I know what's going on now. So I think I have to craft minecart, but one minecart has TNT. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, so like this and boom. Okay, so now I think that to place it here, right? Then I have to put right here and okay, I think this is it. Okay. Okay, and... Boom, let's go. Okay, I did it. All right, so I think I'm going to do this one and okay. Puppeteer. Okay, so I got blocks of iron. I got snow block. I got pumpkin, stick, and never star. Okay. It's not enough to make myself a snow golem, but it's enough to make an iron golem. Okay, so I think I'm going to build an iron golem, but the real question is, how do I build an iron golem with the glass? Oh, okay. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so let me have a look at the first hint. There's a pressure plate under the zombie's feet. Perhaps killing it will allow you to pass. Okay. Perhaps you can craft an iron golem. How am I supposed to do that? Okay, let me look at the third hint. In fact, an iron golem can be built horizontally. Try building an iron golem horizontally on the ground and use the remaining iron to make scissors to carve a pumpkin into a carved pumpkin. But remember to do the pumpkin carving last. Okay, so I'm going to remember that I have to carve the pumpkin last. Okay, so I have to place it right here. All right, I think this is a good spot. All right, like this, and I have to carve a pumpkin. Okay, so I think I have to make myself shears, right? Okay, so I got iron ingot, and I have to make myself shears. Okay, so now I have to use this, and I have to make... Okay, I did it! All right, and the iron golem is going to kill the zombie, and boom! Let's go! Let's go. Okay, I have one more left. Okay, so next one. And okay, so... Oh, transmutation. Okay, so I have three shapes here. Okay, so yellow, blue, and green. Okay, so let me try something. So let me try yellow, blue, and green. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing happens. But wait, what is this? Okay, so there's something red. Okay, so let me have a look at the hints. Hint one, it looks like you need a red wool to pass the level. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on. So I have to get red wool. Okay, but how? There is no red dye anywhere. Okay, second hint, in some cases, the color of sheep can change even without dying. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, but I don't know. So let me have a look at the third hint. There's an Easter egg. Try dyeing a sheep blue and summoning an evoker to see what happens. Okay, so the evoker is here. And okay, so now... Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I have to... Okay, did I get the red wool? Okay, I did it. I did it. Okay, 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 okay. So let me place the red wool real quick. And boom, okay. Let's go. Second floor completed. And where I'm going? I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. Um... Okay, so I completed two floors already. And wait, what's happening? Okay, floor room. Room of creatures. Okay, so now moving on to the third floor. Okay, so... But guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. I will make a part two of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.